I'm sure it's nothing you don't like. Alrighty, boys, so we're in the loser's bracket. I'm still pretty angry I misplayed because I would have been in the winner's bracket if I didn't. Uh, calm down. We're going to play. We're going to do good. Um, you know, Cassie has been doing us very well, man. Very well. We've been getting pretty good with her. Um, and I think we're going to start out with her. I think we're going to start out with her. Cassie's my go-to. Cassie's my go-to. Definitely for tournaments. Ooh, this hand is brutal. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. That's a bit of a better hand. We can do quite a few things with the hand that we have. Hearth Sister turn one. That's not... That's not good. No one ever likes the Hearth Sister turn one. We are going to develop an Abyssal Crawler back here, I do believe. We're going to move up. If I play the Ooze here, uh, I take the Orb from him. And we call it a turn. When we get our Abyssal Juggernaut on board, hopefully we have like two or three Shadow Creeps already built up. Now with this Heart Seeker, you can choose to go down, take the Orb, ramp him up to four mana, or you can go and trade into the Ooze. Now that's a decision that he's going to have to make. Hopefully, yeah, he is going to go for the down there. Now, since we're playing Faye, I'm going to probably guess that we're playing... We're probably playing Mech. Probably. I would assume we're playing Mech when we play Faye. Most of the time you do. Ooh, a uh, Blood Tear Alchemist. Alright, that gets rid of our Abyssal Crawler, which sucks for us, unfortunately. There's the Mech. We got this nice shroud for mech. Oh, of course it wants for him and not him, right? My luck. I need to get rid of this. I think we're going to develop... An Abyssal Juggernaut and call it a turn. Call it a turn. Oh, there's the Sphere of Darkness. Kind of wish we had that last turn. Um, let's see. Let's see. If he hits me, I can ping him off next turn, which is kind of what I want to do. If I ping it off next turn. That four mana. So he could play like two cannons this turn. He could play like a sword and a helm. He could play like all three helms if he has them um ho hopefully we don't get surrounded i really would like to play the reaper and nine moons on curve and hopefully it would get us something like nice to have like a cannon maybe or a sword chassis all right that's not bad now um what we can actually do we can play a we can this will scroll, scar this. That leaves this with one up. I really would like another play, to be honest. Let's do this. Let's get in his face. We'll call that a turn. That gets rid of both threats. That gets rid of both threats. We have two shrouds, two um, two reapers, which is really nice to have. I really want to play more offensively than defensively. Definitely against any kind of um, there's a chromatic hold. That's fine. Definitely against any kind of fey like deck like this. You want to outrace the Mechazor, basically. All 
I kind of wish you put that more towards me so I can kill it. I think we're gonna go Reaper, Ping. This way. He can hit my Reaper now, and that's fine. If he decides to take five, I'm okay with that. But I'd rather make sure that I stay near him or at least ahead of him on the sides of the map. Reaper of the Nine Moons hopefully can get us a pretty good draw. That's if we get lucky. That's if we get lucky. Is he going to dispel it? Yeah, Chromatic Hold. Okay, two Chromatic Holds down. Unfortunate that he's getting them all. Um, it's fortunately that he's getting them all. That doesn't really leave us anything to do. So we kind of got to figure it out. Drop one Shroud. Ooh, hello. Okay. And I really want to stay with them, man. I think that's our turn. I think that's our turn. Hopefully we can, we can start doing some more damage to them. Um, if he decides to somehow take out both threats, we have Neither summoning, which is a really good backup to keep in mind. Uh, we should get the Sojourner on the field as soon as possible to try to get some card draw. Maybe next turn, depending on what we draw. If we get something big again, I kind of want to get something big on the field. He's probably going to move down. He's not going to move, he's not going to move behind him because then my Reaper can hit him next turn. He's going to, he's definitely probably going to move down. Ooh, now is he gonna is he gonna kill them both off? Because that'd be a great Neither summoning. That'd be a great Neither summoning. Or actually, what I can do is I can um summon two non-token minions destroy since the end of your last turn nearby. Okay. So if I run the Shadow Sister. If I run the Shadow Sister into him, and then Neither summoning, I get both of them back? Hell yeah, boy. And we get the Sojourner on the field. Let's drop the Abyssal Crawler. We don't need that. We'll call that a turn. We will call that a turn. That was a pretty good Neither summoning. It's kind of what we needed. Hope he doesn't somehow kill us right here. That would suck. Um, or have Dispel. Really want this Reaper of the Nine Moons to stick. There's a Meltdown. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please to God, don't hit me. Hit the Reaper. Hit the Reaper. Thank you. It hit the Reaper. And I win. Can't. We can ping punish. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to do 8. Uh, do I drop the Sojourner? Do I risk it? I think I risk it. I risk it. Oh, no. And it didn't work out. We needed a spec rev. There's another Reaper. I'm going full face, man. I'm just gonna surround him. I'm going full face. I hope he can't somehow get 12 damage. I hope he can't get 12 damage. I really do. Frostburn would hurt a lot. A lot. And feeble. Okay, that's... That's doable. That's doable. 
If I dispel this back... If I dispel something back, do I get... There's a cannon. I don't know how that works. The can you get spec rev and just end the game? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's annoying. If I dispel this, does it go back to three three? Nope. I should have probably seen what I got from the card draw. I just do this and go neither summoning. Hey, cannon and reaper, I'll take that. Ooh, spec rev. Please don't tell me he can he can kill me right now. That would suck. That would suck. I probably shouldn't have went face right in case he got meltdown and it hit me and he kills me. Nope, he went suicidal. He went suicidal. Well played. Woo! Neither summonings for the win. I went I went and risked it. And uh, it worked out pretty well. Okay. Um. GG. That's just me and him bitching for about our matches. Thanks, man. You too. Um. Yeah. Yeah, let's go again. Let's go again. I haven't brought my Argeon deck out. Argeon decks, that's a... Woo! That's a deck, but I think we're going to go heal in R instead. We're going to go heal in R instead. We're going to switch it up. Turn one, Sunforged Lancer is nice. Well, if I drop that, and it's really the only thing I want to drop. There we go. I really like our hand. Our hand's, our hand's pretty damn good. Now, if he's playing tempo, we just gotta make sure that we keep his board as clear as humanly possible. He's probably playing tempo. Everyone plays tempo. We're gonna go with more of a slower start. I think we're gonna go with more of a slower start. We'll call that a turn. We have the slow holy immolation in hand, so I'm not really worried if he starts developing a board because we can most likely take care of it depending on what he plays. Um, if he's tempo, he's going to try to be in my face with everything he's got. Where the Sunforge Lancer is, he can't dispel it unless he can somehow get... Unless he has a one drop and two drop, then he just goes bang, one drop, dispel right here, hit it that with the Shroud. Getting a Subforge Lancer on very early, though, is, is quite nice. He's also setting up for me to hit him with a slow Holy Immolation combo, which is, is pretty nice as well. Yeah, no, go right there. Right there. That's right where I want it. Don't go on the orb. Don't put it on the orb. Kiki Kila. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright, so he's going to opt to take that. That puts him at four mana. Go Regalia. Ooh, so he's choosing to go Regalia. That's gonna be a pain. I need to I need to heal up. That way it puts me at three health. Or three attacks. So when he hits me with his Regalia, it does something. Really don't have any plays, man. I really don't want to waste a slow holy emulation. The thing I could do is I could walk up. No, because then he's going to hit me. I could walk up, hit him, not do any damage, and then heal myself up with the Herald, taking the middle or top orb. That way, if he hits me next turn, it deals a point. And then if the lion hits me, it deals a point. That's really the only play I can do. I mean, no, I could go slow Holy Immolation and take... 
No, probably dealing de dealing four damage to myself isn't a great idea. We're just gonna go slow holy immolation. Deals off a tick to him. Takes out the lion. Makes it so he can't move. Meltdown needs to go. We don't need meltdown. It's too early for that. I mean, we might as well keep it now. But even with that, we're not going to be able to develop a board. I mean, we have the Stumforge Lancer back there, but... Regalia hurts us a lot. Until until we take care of it, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. Silverguard Knight. Ugh. That hurts. That hurts. We're gonna double heal up here. That puts us at four. That puts us... I had to hit him first because if I didn't hit him first, I wouldn't have been able to, um... Wouldn't have been able to do anything. I like our hand. We're gonna call that a turn. Ooh, Draining Wave's really nice. We'll call that a turn. We got Meltdown sitting here. We're sitting on a Trinity Oath, which we're gonna use next turn because we kind of have to. Um, Holy Immolation is gonna hurt a lot, and I'm about 90% sure he's probably got it in hand. If he's got it in the hand, then uh, we're not gonna be in a really good spot. If we do somehow lose to this guy, I think we're going to go back to cast. I really don't want to play my Argeon deck unless I really have to. I'm not that comfy with it. It's more of an experimental deck that I really want to try. There's Holy Immolation. I told you you would have it. But that is able... Uh, that buffed me up to five. All right, that was weird. I was like, is my guy going to kill him or no? Trinity Oath is going to be really nice here. I hope he doesn't have a one mana play. No slows. No slows. I think Trinity Oath is the obvious choice here. Um, this is nice. Our whole hand's pretty good. We have we have a lot of answers to things. We're gonna do this. It might be stupid, but whatever. We need health. ASAP. Rocky. I hope he can't I hope he can't win here at eleven. He could. Tiger, Tiger. He can't double tiger and blood Oh yes he can because he can grab the orb. He can double tiger bloodborne spell. He can double tiger bloodborne spell. That he can't even win with that because I'm at eleven health. That would work if I was at 10. Hopefully we can pull this together. Hopefully we can pull this together. We can go double Sunforge Lancer next turn. Uh, I need some healing. I need some healing. Circle of Life would be what I want, because that takes care of his threat. Uh, most likely it's going to take care of his threat, depending on what he plays here. Probably Silver Guard Knights or a Light Bender. That hurts. That hurt my feelings. That hurts. Into a lion. Buffing that. Great! Yankiastiak. Now, we have quite a few plays we could do. I think we dropped a draining wave. Unfortunately, I mean, it's, it's a good card. But we're at so low health, I really don't want to take four. I got a double sun bloom. Hmm. I think we dancing blades. We're at nine health, man. I need some health. Where's all my healing? Where's my heralds and my mystics? 
He's at 14 health. Next time we had to develop Meltdown. Maybe I shouldn't have used my Bloodborne spell. Maybe that was stupid right there. I mean, that still leaves both creatures up for them to do something, though. We do have Sunrise there, I guess, but we don't have... Uh, Trinity Oath is big for him. That's big for him. Gives him card draw. He's back at a full hand. I mean, we're still at a full hand, too. I think we're going to drop one Sun Bloom. Um... Damn. Tempest is good right in case he starts to develop a board. Since we're playing Tempo, um, he can develop a board pretty easily. I mean, we're sitting on this Meltdown right now, which is pretty nice, though. Until I wish I drew one. I wish I could draw one. Another damn Dancing Blades, bro. It sucks because I just can't wall anything useful. I'm going to Sunbloom. I'm going to Sunbloom. I don't want him gaining health. Unfortunately, like I can't, I can't draw the healing, and that's putting me back so much. It's putting, it's really putting me in the hole that I can't draw healing. I have a healing deck. No healing can be drawn. Like I said, Circle of Life would be like he gets a Circle of Life. I want a Circle of Life. This guy's gotten more healing than I have. He's running Argeon. He's back up to 22 health, and we're at 9. This is scary, man. This is scary. If I can get a board a, uh, a board put together, though, and get Meltdown down, uh, you know, we'll be looking pretty decent. Like, I, I already see a possible play. Another healing mystic. He's almost back at full health, <laughs> which is scary because I can't draw anything. I think we drop the Tempest. Another Sunforge fucking Lancer, man. Come on, give me a break. I want to abuse my meltdown as much as possible. Please hit him. I don't care about the healing mystic. Yes. I like where I'm at. We're just going to stay there. Still, still no healing in my healing deck. <laughs> no healing in my healing deck. This is quite odd. We are sitting on a Dancing Blades, which is pretty nice. If he throws down like a lion, we can take care of it. What he could do is if he moves up, if he moves up, he can Bloodborne Spell onto the Healing Mystic and take out my Dancing Blades. Um... Even even if he dispels Meltdown, I'd rather have a 7-7 body protecting me. At least until I can start gaining health, I just can't. I just can't find it. He's gonna he's gonna tiger into holy immolation, man. Oh, tiger into tiger into bloodborne spell. That's fine. I'd rather that i rather that hit the meltdown than it hit me. Yo, don't tell me he's gonna go to Tiger number three. Windblade add up, that's fine. Dancing Blade eats that right up. Eats it up. We're gonna drop this Sunriser. I need health. I need health. Just so he can't sunbloom both of us, 
I'm gonna move up. <laughs> I'm gonna move up. Still no healing. Still no healing. <laughs> no heralds. No mystics. No scintillas. Three copies of all in the deck. And another train of youth for him, uh, which we're missing. We haven't drawn another one of those either. Dude, I'm just getting screwed over right now. It's not cool. I mean, we're still we're still on board somehow, but I don't. I can't hold out much longer, man. Can't hold out much longer. Definitely when he keeps getting health. I mean, we've already taken him down to 14. What twice now? And do a regalia. That hurts. That hurts. All right, what if I... I got an idea. Does that get rid of his regalia? It should. And I'm staying hella far away. There's a Silver Guard Knight. That's nice. I just need some health, man. Give me a damn Trinity Oath. A lack of healing. Repulsor Beast? Okay. That hurts a little bit. Sitting on another Dancing Blade still, so that's what's keeping me alive. Um, plus, I'm sitting on a Sun Bloom. Why? Okay, so he just had to Light Bender there. I would have Light Bendered over here. Because I can ping shit like a motherfucker. Alright. Let me think on how I could possibly win. Let me think on how I can win. Let's drop this. No, Silver Knight can save me. Can I win with Draining Leaf if I go up? If I... It looks like it would be enough damage, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me count. So, like, I Draining Wave this. I will go over here, hit, heal, go... Yeah, I think I can win. Alright, draining with that. Punch. Heal. Hey, we did it! We did it! Well played! No fucking healing in my healing deck. <laughs> and we fucking did it. First rounds of loser's bracket and we make it through. Let's go. Your boy's a beast. Alrighty, guys. I'll bring you back for uh, whatever's fucking next. Bring you back for the next round.